What's going on trade pros and welcome back to our channel. My name is Mark from Trade Pro Academy and in today's video I'm going to discuss a couple of tips and tricks on how you can stop losing money trading. Now before we get into the actual content of this video, if you guys haven't had a chance to yet, please subscribe to our channel, check off that notification bell to get notified anytime we drop any videos such as this one or anytime we go live for our morning update. In addition to that, if you guys are enjoying what we get together for you in this video, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps put us out in front of other traders like yourselves and it shows us that you guys are enjoying the content we're providing you guys. So I'm gonna give you a moment to do that and we'll see you shortly. All right, Trade Post, so you've had a chance to subscribe to the channel. You've also smashed that thumbs up button. Let's go ahead and get started with this presentation. How to finally stop losing money trading. Now, we cannot prevent losing trades. This is not what the topic of today is going to be. Losing trades versus losing money trading are two different things. If you take a trade that is based on a plan that you've tested, and it's a valid setup that you take that stops you out that is a trade that's considered a cost of doing business now a lot of newer traders seem to have difficulty following the plan and that is where the problems start so to speak it's quite common knowledge in the marketplace that a bull trend is when you're seeing higher highs and higher lows forming on the chart all right, a bear trend will be the opposite. A bear trend will have lower lows and lower highs. Now, a lot of what we see from newer traders is that they let emotions capture the best of them. All right, and one of the easiest ways for you to start making money is to start losing less. Let me explain. How do you make money as the market is going up? All right, in a bull trend, how do you make money? You guys can answer that question. All right, in a bull trend, the way to make money is to buy. You're going to have to buy that market, all right? What do you not want to do in the face of a bull trend? You do not want to start selling. The issue with that is if you are looking for a pullback trade, for example, let's say you've got this little peak here, you've broken out of that, and you're looking for that pullback trade, all right? At this instance, when the market is down here, a lot of traders might be second guessing themselves. Hmm, maybe it's gonna go and break down below that VWAP so they don't take the trade. If you don't take the trade when it's in your level, in your zone as per your plan, and then you start seeing the market moving higher, guess what? You're gonna be a bit pissed off. And I'm saying this from experience. I've had these exact same experiences when I started off. You know, if you're looking for a trade down here and the market is trading up here now without you, guess what you're gonna want to do? You are gonna want to chase that market, your FOMO is going to start kicking in, and you're gonna wanna get in. Or even worse, what a lot of traders will do is if they did not catch the trade in the position or in the location that they wanted to, they will flip their bias, and because they didn't sell, or rather because they didn't buy it down here, they're gonna start looking to sell it up here. They are going to be fading the trend, all right? And fading the trend is where a lot of newbies get hurt. So is that something you can relate to? If you were looking to buy this market and you didn't get in the position down here and now the market is trading somewhere up here, what are you gonna be more likely to do? Are you gonna be looking for alternative pullback ideas, alternative pullback scenarios, or because you missed the trade to get long down here, now you're convincing yourself that it's gotta go down because I didn't get my original entry. I'm gonna fade the market, all right? And look what happens each time you start fighting the trend. Sure, there might be a couple of points, but the trend lives on. Same experience here, the trend lives on, and the trend will remain in place longer than you can remain solvent, all right? That is part and parcel of trading. So if you follow this one simple rule, 
if you stay on the trend, if you're only buying in bull trends and you're only selling in bear trends, you're going to lose less. And that is ultimately the secret. The secret to stop losing money trading is to lose less. Right away, if you were to cancel out all the trades that fight against a trend, if you were to look back at your last week's results, last month's result, and if you go back and you look at all the trades where you were fading the trend, all right, if there was a bull trend and you were shorting, alternatively, if there was a bear trend and you were looking to buy low and sell high, that is considered fading. Right off the bat, about 30% of those losing trades can simply be avoided by following this rule. All right, let me ask you this. Who here has ever traded and has never won a single winning trade in their life ever? I'll give you guys a couple of seconds. Exactly. Because it's not very likely that you've never won a single trade, right? The thing with this industry is that it's easy to make money. The difficulty comes in keeping it. And if we keep taking poor quality trades, that is where the money starts to leave our accounts. That's what puts you in drawdown. Uh, and that's effectively what tends to beat up your psychology. All right. So most of you have won at least one trade in your life. Now, the, the reason the balance does not reflect the success that you want is not because you're not winning. It's because you're losing more often than you're not. You're losing on trades that you shouldn't be taking. And to be quite honest, it's not entirely your fault. The marketing engine around this industry sells you on indicators, sells you on alerts, sells you on signals, all in an effort to get your capital into the markets. However, what they fail to tell you is that the real way that you're going to win is by eliminating or reducing your losses. So the real takeaway from today's video is this. If it's a bull market, do not sell. If it's a bear market, do not buy. You do not want to fade. You want to stay on the side of the trend until it ends. Like I said, this is likely to reduce right, right off of the bat around 30% of your losers. So let me give you this challenge. I challenge you guys now to go back into your journals, review your trades, and see how many of those trades, winners or losers, were fades against the trend. And do the math. If you had not taken those trades, how would your end result look at the end of the month? Let me know in the comments below. Would it have been a better month for you or would you have actually ended up worse? You guys would be surprised what the comments are going to show. All right, trade pros. So there you have it. Those are some of the tips and tricks that you guys can start using today to stop losing money trading. So that's what we got for you guys in today's video. Hope you enjoyed that one. Until next time, good luck and good trading. Take care.